Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at this question on the community about uh, triggering automation rules using not one but multiple events. Now let me read the question because this question is uh, really interesting from Abraham and the question is I have an automation rule that is triggered upon assigning an issue to a user. So basically if you look at your rule, uh, when you create a new rule you always have the option to use uh, a trigger called uh, issue assigned at the same time what Ibrahim is trying to do Ibrahim is, uh, is asking here if the user is assigned while creating an issue for example if you click on the create issue button on top uh, you can of course have the assigning field here and you can also assign the issue to someone like you know by, by typing their name here but this rule is not going to be triggered is not really of course responding to this issue creation because uh, obviously we are talking about two different events when you create a new rule where you are selecting a assignee so this assignee is definitely one of the event but there is also another event called uh, issue created which is uh, for the issue creation so these are two different events one simple solution could be of course uh, have two different rules and uh, of course you, know, you need to have one rule uh, one rule with one trigger so you can have this uh, rule here uh, and maybe you can do f some further checks here like maybe add a condition f something like uh, or not not really a condition uh, let me just uh, add a condition here like uh, yeah maybe it's a condition basically uh, we can do something like if assignee is equal to something if this, this is something that you want to do so basically uh, you can maybe do something where you want to further check if the assignee is some specific user but i guess what ibrahim is trying to do he is trying to do something when the issue is mainly assigned to someone that will of course not happen when you create the issue so in my opinion cre creating two issues and uh, for the create issue event you can check if the assignee is uh, not empty then do something further basically the same thing and he's also asking about uh, is it possible to trigger one uh, rule by two events or trigger trigger a rule from another rule now there is a uh, there, there is a way here to basically make sure that so basically when when you do something with automation those rules will probably also fire some other events now if you want to do something further based on those events you can also check this particular rule like check to allow other rule actions to trigger this rule and only enable this if you need this rule to execute in response to another rule so basically imagine i mean I'll, I'll give you an example let us say you want to perform or let us say you have three issues linked to each other like i think yesterday i was talking about incident problem and change now incident is linked to problem problem is linked to change and uh, when you do something in uh, let us say your change management issue uh, you want to of course update something in your uh, problem but you may want also want to further cascade your uh, changes to incident and you may have two rules doing something but if you want uh, one rule if the rule is uh, firing other events and if you want other, other other events to be doing something like maybe uh, captured by another rule so basically if you think uh, you will have that situation where uh, one rule changes to one rule or changes done by one rule uh, will probably affect other rules and you want to run those other rules you can actually check this uh, checkbox that will definitely help you and uh, and that is it that is actually all I wanted to cover in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much bye bye